Do you, you don't have to answer this, but do you remember the session that we had when you said my dad came through and you were hesitant to speak about it? Does that ring a bell? Yes, because um, I knew that he did have fear for a while. And that's always hard for me to tell people. And you're saying fear, he had fear before he passed or after he passed? Um, before. If it's again, and I knew that he asking. fought hard and I, I, I really hate making people upset. Usually the readings end with um, good tears, you know, mm-hmm. but it was hard because I know he, he, he fought and tried. And so no one wants to think of their loved one living in fear or with fear or having that, you know, so that, that was hard for me to share, but um, I knew more than anything uh, that it was something shocking to the world that many people witnessed. And of course, I had never had a spirit tell me that before. So I was so grateful when you explained it all at the end because, um, yeah. When he first came through, is it clear that it was 9-11 or? No, 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 no. It was clear that he was, there was a lot of adrenaline going. There was shock. But first and foremost, he was in survival mode, but at the same time helping someone else. I hope that you'll get the time to research who that other guy is because that's one of the things your dad continued to tell me for days after. And it almost felt like he wanted me to like look into it and help find because um, I felt like he was very uh, focused on not just surviving himself, but helping this Pete or Peter. Um Almost like they they had died at the same time and had fought to leave at the same time. They were both trying. They had the same goal. They were helping one another. I feel like that guy was definitely younger. That guy was definitely more afraid and was panicking more. Your dad took on a role of like um, almost a fatherly role of I'm going to, we're going to keep our heads on straight here and this is what we're going to do together. So I've always been curious to pursue that more because when, when they hang around for a while and I keep, my mind keeps going back to that, there's something I meant to research and look into and complete for them so that I think, I know he definitely wants you guys to have the whole story, but, um, my thought of wanting to hold stuff back was more, I just didn't want you to know that he was afraid. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate that. I mean, but I also share everything. I'm I'm pretty honest about things in the readings. But. Yeah, no. I mean, you made it clear that you want you prefer to you want to keep it positive. So I I yeah. get that. I'm just more because it's about healing ultimately, and more than that, I'm mostly into teaching people how to do this more often for themselves because we have enough depression going around, and grief is a very hard thing to get over. Yeah, I think there. I think we do have the. There are practices and modalities that we can learn to execute and discipline ourselves to heal ourselves and yes shit i mean <laughs> i'm interested in hearing that so like you're not making me feel bad I think obviously it's sad it's gonna make me tear up but at the same time i mean considering the conditions of being in the tower at that time it wasn't i know it was gonna be all peaches and cream going up there so like i'm not surprised if that's the case it's just um part of me like i was always someone and my mom was the opposite, and she tried to pull me away from the TV when I first saw the towers go down, but I wanted to see it. And ever since then, I've always, not, I want to say enjoyed, that's not the right word, but I've always made myself watch the towers go down and watch the incidents over and over again. I don't know what that is, and my point of bringing that up is because I don't, I don't stray from hearing a story like that. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate you, you know, looking out for me in that sense, but I, I, I can't run away from that. I don't, know, I don't know why I want to see that, even if it is bad. I feel the need to see that. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I want to get emotions out and hearing stuff like that or seeing the towers constantly going down and watching that footage for 20 years. I think so. I think it's just a way of me getting getting it out. Definitely. Yeah, you have to because uh, it's, you know, you have so many unknowns like like I kind of did. You know, you you were so young, you probably hold on to every little memory that you have and then, you know, it's probably sadder each and every year when those memories maybe are a little more vague or, mm-hmm. or not as crisp or you're not having them as often. Yeah, maybe that's it. It's like I, I can't – yeah, I don't know. It's like looking at a home video, but only this home video is a lot more fucked up. But, um, yeah, I don't know. There's something about that just pulls the emotion out of me and 
maybe that's just how I do it, but there's gotta be a little bit of an easier way, <laughs> but I, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. I appreciate you sharing that and I'll, I'll definitely look into it more. I think I know I mentioned it to my, I think my mother and my sisters, I just forget if I use the name Peter PD. I don't know why that sounds like it rings a bell, but then again, we're from Jersey. I feel like there's a lot of Pete's and Peters, but, um, Maybe I'll look into that and check it out. I don't think that they were together the entire time. I almost get the feeling because I, I remember him telling me, well, I didn't know him before this, but we were definitely brothers in survival mode. I remember hearing him say that. And so I think maybe it, it was a situation. And I know he was going up and he was like going, well, down more, but he was like still in control, like running, 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 running. And I feel like they met up at one point and then continued. Oh, 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 o